5 tips to improve your spearfishing. Coming up are 5 things I feel have really benefited my overall experience whilst free diving and spearfishing. Over the past couple of years I have made these changes to my kit and habits which have added up to make a really big difference. I guess this video is aimed at anyone who might have spent a season spearfishing, has enjoyed it and fancies stepping things up a bit. I think there are probably a few of you guys out there who are in the position I was in a few years ago when I got into spearfishing. I'd splashed around in shallow waters and taken a few fish, but I needed a few thoughts for improving my spearfishing for the future. Okay, here's my first suggestion. 1. Get a dive computer. The dive computer I own is the Cressy Drake. It tells me the depth, dive time, number of dives, as well as loads of other stuff like water temperature. But perhaps the most useful part of the watch for me is that it automatically gives me the surface time. This gave me massive confidence to be sure I'd had long enough to recover after a dive. If I dive for one minute, I want to know I've had two minutes to rest. Now if I forget my watch when I go diving, I feel kind of naked. 2. Get some carbon fins. Ok, I know they're quite expensive, but it was definitely the biggest change for me last year. These fins are so much more efficient than the plastics. The first time I put on some carbons, I literally doubled the depth I was achieving with plastics. In fact, I'm actually quite glad I lost my old plastic fins, which prompted me to upgrade. There's loads of info about the fins online, so I won't go into any details, but I can't emphasise the benefits enough. 3. Get a reel for your spear gun. A reel is basically the same kind of device you have on a fishing rod. You can let out line if your spear gets stuck under a rock or tangled in the kelp. If your spear gets snagged up and you have a reel, you aren't going to lose your gun or get into a dangerous situation. This footage shows a situation where I was grateful to have a reel. I shot this bass at 17 metres which took off and lodged the spear under a crevice in the reef. I just let out the reel a bit so I could get to the surface and then played the fish in. No dramas, no lost gear. A line fishing, I managed to get on the boat and haul him in. 4. Get a weight vest. For a couple of years I just used a typical elastic weight belt. As I was diving in a 7mm suit, that was about 9 kilos of lead around my waist. The weight vest enables you to transfer some weight from your belt and distribute it more evenly across your body. I find this not only more comfortable when I'm diving, but you also feel much more balanced in the water. 5. Get a pissette. Sometimes known as a P-valve, this basically enables you to pee in the ocean rather than in your suit. I only got one very recently and it's absolutely transformed my dives. When you pee in your suit, the urine increases heat loss from your body and will make you really cold much faster, especially during winter dives. Urine will also destroy your suit over the years, degrading the neoprene. Peeing in your suit is obviously unhygienic too. Imagine soaking your ears in urine as you dive down. Not such a nice image. So there's five things I feel have really made my spearfishing much more rewarding over the past couple of years. I hope you found something in this video useful, and if you do, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.